All right. Well, welcome everybody. We're here for part two of Hourglass, and I think we're pretty close to the end, unless there's a lot of really late game content, um, or unless there is any late game content, I think we're very close to the end. I don't know. Uh, I know that there were three pyramids, and I'm working on the last puzzle in the last pyramid, so I expect that means it's pretty much over, but um, I would be pleasantly surprised to find out that there's a lot more game. Um, how long to beat had quoted it being like seven hours, and I've spent seven hours already, which... I assure you, does not make me feel worse about myself as a person. Um, <clears throat> so here we are, the last puzzle. Doing this puzzle after having been streaming for seven hours uh, was wild. So I'm trying to get over there, and there's a lot of different versions of a solution that will work. I think that the end result that I'm looking for is to have one teleporter on this side, and one teleporter on that side, on, on this platform. And then to use uh, my ghost to hold it down, and then be on, and then touch the teleporter to go through and get to the other side. I think that's the setup I want to end up with. The question is, how do I get a teleporter to be on that moving platform? And I think it has something to do with this. I think, I think I want my ghost to ride out on this platform. How I do that, I have no idea, but I think I want my ghost to ride out on this platform and then somehow not actually send the platform so that when my ghost is carrying the teleporter, it drops it. The problem is, if I do it exactly the way I just described, I won't be able to get off of this island. So, I think I need to go with it. I think I need to end up on that platform, right? I need to end up on that platform. So, the platform needs to be over here, and the real me needs to jump down on it. Which means my time clone is holding this button down, sending me out. But if my time clone is sending me out, then the platform is probably going backward. Right? Because nothing's going to be holding down that one over there. Both of the platforms move way too fast for this to have just an obvious solution to it. So that's where I'm at. That's that's everything that I figured out um, with my my exhausted brain last night. Perhaps none of that is the solution, but that's what I've come up with so far. I want this platform to have gone pretty much all the way out, and then somehow I need to make the jump.
How did I end up here? What? Can you even do that? I'm not bismuth, I refuse to take my time. I'm a speedrunner, didn't you hear? Yeah, this mixes a lot of pieces. The time loop mechanic, the teleporter mechanic, these buttons. There's a lot going on here. I think I'm right at what I need to do. I just haven't figured out the order of operations to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a version of myself from the time loop sitting on this button. I'm just going to I'm going to make that so I can think about it on the other side. So I'm here now. Um That didn't work the way I wanted it to. There's so much here I can't work through. There's so... I mean, it's entirely possible I'm just completely off base. Like, that this isn't even a part of the solution. The timing seems too tight for that to be correct. I've, I've, I've been proven right every single time that I've said that a tight timing is not required for the solution. Most puzzle games don't demand that of you. Or at least this one has consistently not demanded it of me. So if it requires tight timing, I just haven't reasoned through the right solution yet. So what else can I do?
Yes, that was it. But I didn't grab the... I didn't grab the thing! That was it. That was the idea. I figured it out. I'm a genius. I'm the smartest person alive. I don't even need the teleporters. I think I can hold this down long enough. Wait, I don't even need the teleporters. Why is it that when you stare at something for an hour and you've been, and it's, it's 3 a.m. effectively, you can't solve a problem as just all it takes is 10 minutes when you... <sighs> I'm starting to really think that sleep plays a big role in cognitive function, and that is not something I'm comfortable admitting. Okay, cool. What did that do? Oh, you know what? I bet I know what it is. I bet if I place the last one in all of them, it'll open that funny door I saw. I did notice there was an achievement. I don't remember what the name of it was, but it implied that there was something to do with that hidden door I found in the in the um, first area. I bet if I place all of the last crystals, it'll unlock that door. Maybe there's like a whole last area or maybe just one really big puzzle. Oh no, there's going to be one really big puzzle. Look, I'm feeling pretty confident in myself because I just solved a puzzle, but I'm not sure that I'm capable of solving a harder puzzle than that one. You know what I mean? Because there's a door, I think it was like, uh, down there, right? Yeah, see, one of them is lit up. I'm right. This isn't something I say lightly. Um, but I'm the smartest person alive, and I've never been wrong before. Is there no game sound? Has there not been any game sound this whole time, y'all? Okay. Thank you for pointing it out. Sorry there hasn't been any game sound. Um, I rebooted my computer and it messes with all my audio devices every single time. And I forgot that I had rebooted my computer last night. I mean, it, it, the game doesn't have music, but it does have little sound effects here and there to highlight things, so. I'm stand by it, Derek. I've never been wrong in my life. Except for with the stream settings. You're right. I did a little goof there. Y'all, I don't mean to speak out of turn, but I think this game's actually really good. 
I can't believe I'm still surprised by these things, but like this is this is not a comment on Hourglass. This is a comment just in general, but like sometimes when I see a game that fits a uh a niche of mine, you know, like I'm really into very specific types of puzzle games. So I saw this very specific type of puzzle game and I was like, I want to check it out, but I'm going to keep my expectations low because it's very hard for games to live up to the high expectations I I hold for them, you know? Like there's no way that a game is going to be as good as, you know, some of my favorites. Would you would you believe it if I told you that this game is as good as some of my favorites? Would you believe would you believe me if I told you that I think this game might actually be as good as, like, The Witness and, uh, you know, some of the puzzle games that I really, really adore? Uh, yeah, that's- the, it's mostly line puzzles. The Witness is the one where you see the panels of line puzzles. It's surprising that The Witness doesn't feel more one note, considering that's its one note, but like, it iterates on that one note fairly well. I support it, Nyx. I, I genuinely think that this game has the potential to be a pretty solid speedrun, just with the tiny little skips I've already found. Like, just being able to bring a block from one place to another already feels like it makes this game kind of a, a cool speed. I just, I, I love a speedrun that subverts the game. I love The Witness. If If you look at a line puzzle and you think, I could not possibly imagine enjoying that for 40 hours, then The Witness is not going to be for you. But if you just kind of enjoy well-thought-out puzzles, The Witness is full of them. They are really well-thought-out puzzles. It iterates really often. So each region of the map in The Witness introduces a brand new mechanic, and those mechanics are really interesting, and uh, it recombines them in a lot of interesting ways. So, like, late-game puzzles are like, hey, you remember those six really difficult uh, mechanics we added? Uh, do them all at once. If... If you do not enjoy the reward of a puzzle being try more puzzles, then The Witness probably isn't going to be for you. There's really this not a lot more it, than that. The biggest mystery of ancient Egypt, and we are about to reveal it. There is no turning back after we insert the final seal. Do it when you are ready. Okay, then I'm not ready. Jonathan Mulanathan. Right there. In the flesh. I got an achievement called Secret Cave. Hey, if you don't want to be spoiled on Secret Cave, um, chill back for a bit. Um, 
Are these the sarcophaguses of all the people who died trying to solve puzzles before? Secret. What the frick are these? Are the, is this Kickstarter backers? I assume it's Kickstarter backers. Oh good, there's puzzles here! I love puzzles! It's Icarus. Never give up. <laughs> Johnimus, thank you for gifting a sub. Impending disaster. See, Derek? Just gotta stop being funny. What's the plan here? I guess I'm trying to get the block. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So I'm trying to get the block over to there, I assume? To figure out what all where all the controls are. I think one of them is up there. No, I didn't. And honestly, um, if you'd like it to stop bringing attention to you, I'm happy to remove it. I, I just did it as a because you are a very important person. There was no ulterior motive. So what's the so um what's the play here? This moves relatively fast. I mean, I assume the the strategy here is to oh, they oh, I did not realize they moved at the same time. Holy shit. Um I think what I want is to end up with a teleporter over there, and I think I can do that if I take it... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, wait, I can use the block. I can use the block to solve this problem, okay. That wasn't it. I'll tell you right now, that wasn't it. Okay, I think the idea was correct, but, um, but I am bad. I just want to hold it here for a second. Yeah. And then when that recording ends, it's going to drop it on the platform. Okay.
I hit the wrong button. Is it going to reset everything? Did you reset everything? You bastard. Yeah, everyone's been telling me that it gives them Talos Principle vibes. Um, I haven't played Talos Principle, uh, but now I feel like I should. What's up, Colin? Oh, this one's tough. Oh, this one's tough. The solution I'm trying to do right now is not going to work. Okay, okay, so the thing about the witnesses is you can avoid it, right? Because the witness has these little, like, uh, audio discs just hidden around the world that you can click and it'll play uh, an excerpt that tells you how smart Jonathan Blow thinks he is by quoting someone else. Or, there are some hidden video files you can watch um, if you unlock them. You can find them and they have some puzzles associated with them. I'm not going to go into it. And they will also show you how smart Jonathan Blow thinks he is for providing you an excerpt of them. But if you ignore all of those, there's really none of it. None of it's necessary. None of it's required. If you wanted to 100% the game, it's actually super required in order to... Uh, Watch like a two hour video lecture of um, how great Jonathan Blow is at video game design um, or psychology or sociology or something like that. Um, but I don't think any reasonable person should ever want to 100% The Witness um, because you have to watch a two hour video lecture of how smart Jonathan Blow thinks he is. The Witness is maybe my favorite puzzle game of all time. I don't know. I'd have to reassess that at this point. But maybe my favorite puzzle game of all time, and I've never 100%ed it, and I never will. This platform is so slow that I have to put a block up there. So the question is, how do I get the other teleporter over here? There's no way. It's just not possible. Oh my god, it's in it's it's so possible. Oh shit. Uh no, so this is how high you usually jump, and when you're holding anything, this is how high you jump. It's meant to intentionally these these gaps are ways of preventing you from moving things around. We've already figured out how to cheese these. You can have uh your time copy drop it and the real you grab it from the other side. It's possible, but I'm not I'm trying not to cheat my way through puzzles.
Okay, so I think I've figured out what I need to do. I think it's... This. I may have not fully thought this one out, actually. There's no way I'm gonna... No, no, this is not a solution. How do you do this? Yeah, you gotta wait, like, what is it, like, six hours for that collectible, dude? I swear that one's longer than 40 minutes. I swear it's in the hours, but maybe I'm wrong. I, 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 there's no way I can envision a solution here that does not involve bringing the teleporter over there. Because that platform is just so slow. That platform is wildly slow. And there's no way I'd go from here to down there without either having the teleporter on this side or a block holding this down. And if the block's holding this down, I still have to get it over there to get up on the ledge. Like, if I just brought the block here and dropped it, that is not a solution. One hour and 30 minutes, okay. That's less long than I was thinking. In any case, it doesn't matter. For both of them, they're relatively optional, but it's still, it's just kind of, it's it's kind of nonsense. The Braid one isn't at least as full of itself, but the, the Witness one is kind of full of itself. Which is, which is the theme of, of Jonathan Blow stuff. But again, what we're going to do is we're going to focus today on how great Hourglass is, and not on how much I hate Jonathan Blow everything, every time I play a puzzle game. I apologize for doing that. He just happens to be the auteur who made my favorite puzzle game, and also I can't stand him. What if I bring it back now, y'all? Two hops this time? The block was instrumental in me getting the teleporter around the corner, and I think that I can get the other teleporter over there. Is that enough? No, I need the block to get up on the ledge. I'm not going to be able to solve this if I don't bring the block over there. And by that rationale, I can't see a solution that does not involve bringing all three pieces over there. But how the hell do you do that? The block is the only way that my time clone can ride the, the platform. Because me standing on this is not good enough. And my time clone has to ride on it in order to drop objects on the other platform so that it can be carried over eventually.
I can cheat this puzzle right now. I can be done with it in, in two minutes flat. But I, I'm... Hey, Melvin, thanks for the $2.50. I know how I can cheat this puzzle. I can totally avoid doing it. Any solution I come up with involves having one object on this platform. I cannot think of a solution that gets me all the pieces to the other platform. Like, I can get the other teleporter over there really easily. That This isn't hard. This will get me the other teleporter to the other side. See, now the teleporter's on there, and I can drop this here, and I can go get the other teleporter. So great, now I've got two teleporters, but I don't have a block. In order to achieve that, I needed the block. And none of what I just did, as far as I can tell, is possible to do without the block. Obviously, moving this platform over here is, is not difficult, but... Moving the platform in the first place that my time clone can go across that required the block. I need something that can hold the button down that isn't my time clone, right? Like... I mean, if I just want to cheat, I can cheat. Whoops. I fell in. Okay. Guess I can't just cheat anytime I want to. Alright, let's get back where we were. So, it, every solution I've come up with so far involves either... Either leaving one teleporter behind or one block behind. The teleporter lets me get the block... The block lets me get the teleporter. Is there something I could do that would get the time clone to that platform? I don't think so. So if I just take this and I... Go up here and press the button with the block. This gets me almost all the way there. This is almost a complete solution. Yeah, this one has a little bit of walking involved. I mean, they, they add extra walking in order to make it so that you can't just have your time clone do it for you. But I can't, I can't get up here without the block. I need the block here. And the block is currently the whole reason why I have a platform here. So I need a teleporter up there to be able to have my time clone hold this in position while I bring the block over and jump up. My time clone could... Um, 
give me a leg up, though. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, dying there just gave it to me? That's probably a bug that should be reported. It won't let me go back, but I'll solve the puzzle for real. I've just got to get it to let me out of here. Hey, that's me. Is there another puzzle here, or is that the only puzzle here? Okay, this is the only puzzle here, so... Okay, so here's... here's where we are so far. From here, I have two choices. I can get both teleporters out. Or I can get the block out. Actually, both teleporters takes a little more doing. Um, there's another step that I have to do if I'm going to do both teleporters. What would a solution that gets the block and the teleporter out look like? This is not a very long way to run around. If it's just the block has to end up there and uh, the time clone is sitting on this platform. I think there's enough time for that. I think, right? Like I'd have enough time to grab it off of there and save it. It's not that tight. So, I'm I'm confident that that could be part of the solution. If I take both, um... If I take both teleporters off that island, I don't see how it would expect me to get the block off of there. Oh wait, maybe I'm wrong. Wait.
Okay, let me get the other teleporter off of this island first. Right solution is going to have a teleporter down here and a teleporter up there, I think. I'm trying to use what I've learned, and one thing that I've learned is that if the time clone goes to grab something, but I move it, then it doesn't get to take it. And I'm wondering if I can use that, right? So, like, so I've got this here. This is going to be wacky. Hold on. I wish I could make, like, a quick save, because if I die, I have to reset up all this, which is a little annoying. So, da-da-da-da-da-da-da, okay. This isn't really accomplishing anything, is it? I wanted it to drop the block there. So my idea works in reverse, right? I want the... want the time clone to take the block to right there. If the time clone can take the block to right there, I win. That's it. That's the whole that's the whole solution if I can do that. If the time clone can get the block to right there, then I win. In order for it to ride this platform though, there has to be something holding down the switch. The time clone's not going to be able to ride the platform out to there if it's not holding down the switch. Does the answer involve using the teleporters more? Well, if there's a teleporter there... I should just be able to put the block on there, then, and send them both over. But then I'm gonna have a teleporter stuck on this island. Oh my god, I think I have it. I think I've got it. Hold on. I I, I definitely am not going to get this in one shot because I have a vague idea of what I need to do, not the entire idea figured out. But I think I have the pieces right now. I think I've got the pieces in my head. I think what I need to do is I need to get the teleporter and the time clone on that island and then have it pick up the box and bring it back but then not let it actually have the box. So it sees the platform going and it rides it, but then I keep the box for myself. Yeah, the time ghost can use the platform, or uh, can use the teleporters. That's kind of interesting that when it tell, like it actually like moves it linearly. So um, it actually does hold down the switch temporarily. Yeah, I'm almost certainly not going to get this in one try, but I, I've got some ideas. I want to I want to work through them. 
This is going to be some iterating on an idea and seeing at what point I either realize that it's not going to work or... Or what. I mean, there have been instances in video games where mechanics have been bugs that became mechanics, like, um... Uh, why is my webcam, like, so low frame rate? This looks terrible. Um, there's been instances of that, like, for instance, the Double Cherry from Super Mario 3D World um, was apparently some bug where they accidentally duplicated Mario and realized that it was controlling both of them simultaneously, and they were like, oh, let's make a game around this, or a mechanic around this. Okay, so my idea is, is putting the block there. What's my plan here? Um, I mean, they definitely, uh, I know that, um, Celeste's, like, speed tricks were not intended, and whether or not they leveraged them in the DLC, I'm not sure. Hey, Carrie. Uh, it's pretty good. I've solved everything except for what I believe to be, like, the last... Well, this is, like, this is, this is, like, a 100% puzzle. I unlock this by going above and beyond. This is, like, extra content. Um, uh... And right now it's kicking my ass. So what if I do like this? Mm, that didn't come together exactly the way I expected it to. I'm just going to be trapped on this island with all the items, aren't I? Wait, is this good? Is Am I in a good place right now? Hey... Check out where we are. We're right back at the beginning. I'm right where I started. Fuck yeah. Okay, that sucks. I don't know whether or not the idea, like the, the brainwave I had... Yeah, you can teleport with a cube in your hand. That's fine. The, that's one way I could get a block over here, but I'm trying to get all three objects over here, which is the trick, right? I can get two teleporters to the other side, and I can get a block and a teleporter, but I can't get two teleporters and a block. That's what I'm, that's what I'm currently getting tripped up on. Radun, thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. Never give up. The 
missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. Grin, thank you for the five gift subs. Where it is from where it isn't, or where it isn't from where it is, whichever, whichever is greater, greater. It obtains a difference or deviation. The guidance subsystem uses deviations to generate corrective commands to drive the missile from a position where it is to a to position, position where, where it isn't. isn't. And okay. arriving at a position, a position where it wasn't, wasn't. it now, now is. is. Consequently, Consequently, the position where it is is now the position that it wasn't. And it, and follows, it follows that the position that it was is, is now, now the position, position that, that it isn't. isn't. Afternoon, Lyrical. I don't know, weird consonants? Not consonants, consonants. There we go. The text to speech got it that time. Or the, the closed captioning got it that time. Wow. Um, turns out, if you just put two teleport or two uh, platforms linked to the same switch, the puzzle becomes impossible. Neato. Neat trick. I'm just, I'm trying to envision a, a way a solution could even work with this, but I'm, I'm flummoxed because this, this interchange here only really works if the time clone can drop an object from what it believes is the platform having moved all the way out to the actual platform underneath it. That's how the, that's how the changeover works. And it's just... I don't understand how a time clone gets to here. Is this good? Did I do something this time? I mean, no, not really. Is that good? I can't even tell if that's good anymore. I don't know what's good. You can ask the question. If, if it's, if, if, honestly, if you asking me about a mechanic, spoils something at this point and I obviously didn't understand the mechanics well enough for me to be able to do this puzzle so please just potentially spare me from my torment If you take a teleporter as a ghost, but then move the teleporter as real you, will the ghost still teleport? Yes. The ghost always does what the ghost did in its original replay, even if the pieces that were originally there have moved. So it can ride on platforms that aren't there anymore, it can jump on blocks that aren't there anymore, it can do whatever it wants to. The ghost will always go to exactly where it went previously, even if the parts that involve, that, that involve don't happen. Blue Jello, thanks so much for the resub. 
Well, the ghost would never be able to interact with you because, like, while you're in ghost form, like, you're, the original you is nowhere, right? This is just, like, a time copy. And I can interact with the things it does, but it wouldn't be able to interact with me because there's just a causality issue there. Like, it's a different order of operations. I mean, that could be it, right? That could It could just be that the ghost is supposed to take a teleporter and then I'm supposed to pick that teleporter up and do something with it. But, like, the problem is, is if I'm holding the teleporter, if I hold the teleporter, it's not going. It's not going anywhere. And that's the problem. The teleporter needs to end up over there. And the block needs to end up over there. And I need to end up over there. Though, me ending up over there is the easy part. So, I mean, I've got two teleporters over there, but how the hell do I get the block? And if I take the block, which I can absolutely get the block over there, it requires leaving a teleporter behind. I can cheat this. This is always my answer whenever I'm getting frustrated, is I just say, I can cheat this. And I can. But then I'm just going to throw everything in the water and go again. So, it's, it's pointless for me to do this. Yeah, you can teleport with a block in your hand, that's fine. I don't understand what piece of the puzzle I'm not getting here. What piece of the puzzle here am I not understanding? So, the easy first thing to do is always getting a teleporter around the bend. That's pretty simple. Does the answer involve leaving this here? Like, may maybe it does. Maybe the answer involves leaving that there. What can I do with that? I've been so keen to remove that from the moving platform every single time. Maybe, maybe that's not the solution, right? How would that not be the solution? How in the hell does this help me? I mean, if I can get everything onto that platform, then I win. Because I can I can just send it across, holding this down with the time loop, and then go grab it on the other side. That's easy. Okay, so just get everything onto that 
one platform then. Good. We figured it out. How do you do that? I can put the block there without too much trouble. That's not too hard, right? I can I can time loop, time loop, take it over there, drop it, and then come back. Cool. I got everything exactly where I wanted it. Um, there is a small issue. Never been, never been much of a swimmer personally. I think that works though. I think I figured it out. Uh, this may not be the intended solution, I don't know, but I think this works. This this feels, I'll be honest, this feels a little clumsy to be the real solution, and that's fine. Sometimes, you know, you design 30 puzzles and one of them might be a little clumsy, um, but it feels a little clumsy to be the real solution. Anyway, that works. I could have done that in two trips. Anyway, I figured out the solution to the puzzle, or a solution to the puzzle. And I've already seen what's on the other side. So, eh, let's just finish it. Let's finish it because there's actually another step to the puzzle, even though now that I have all the pieces, I know what the last step is. Um, I I do want to demonstrate that I, I have found a full working solution to the puzzle. Well, I mean, even if even if in my brain I'm like, all right, well, I've already done the last two steps. I don't think I've I don't think I've demonstrated that appropriately. So, 
Let's, uh... Let's play by the rules. Maybe this time I won't die. God damn it. I gotta stop trying to get all three items off of the platform at once. I can just come back and, and set it up again to, to get like half and half in two trips. I'm just... come on. God damn it, jokes. <laughs> the frames. I was so close. <laughs> I could have gotten that, I just got too antsy. If you look at Twitter, apparently I'm not a real speedrunner now. So, that fits. Don't see any paste, then. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, good point. Not cancelled. Not cancelled. I'm... I'm uncancelable. It's my superpower. Oh, wait. This won't work. There was a cleaner way to do it? That sucks. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. I made an extremely sarcastic post about how speedrunning is is uh, not playing the game as intended. And it's hard for me to be too mad because I love that the entire internet came out to try to dunk on me to defend the speedrunning hobby. You know, like, how am I going to be mad that a whole bunch of people came out to defend my favorite hobby? But they did dunk on me in the process, or at least try to. I, I'm undunkable. I'm too tall. Okay, now that that puzzle has turned my brain into jello, I'd very much like it to not give me any harder puzzles. Thank you. 
Now I want to know what the easier solution is to that puzzle. I, I couldn't work it out. I'm not... My brain is not nearly cosmic enough to be able to work that, that one out. I love how Dad's just standing there, overseeing the whole process, like he did anything. Hey buddy, I found this seal, and I found that seal over there, and I found the seal on the far end. I found all of them. That was all me. Every step of the way. I did all of it. That's a true, that's true managerial experience, is contributing nothing and still taking the credit. Yeah, that's John Milana. God, this is... Why is this game so gorgeous? Oh my god, it's more puzzles, isn't it? Oh, I thought that was gonna be more puzzles. I was about to lose my fucking mind. This game was extremely good. I think one of the nice things about watching really highly, um, how do I want to put this, like, I don't want to say theoretical puzzles, but puzzles where it's not just like, know the answer to a, a, a riddle or something like that, but it's like, recombining the same pieces a thousand different ways, is that I feel like you could probably watch a puzzle game like this and not internalize any of the solutions well enough that you could go and play it on your own, and, um... and not be spoiled in any way. Like, I, I would imagine most people who tuned in for this entire playthrough could go play this game and not be able to just, like, copy my solutions from memory. Because it's, it's very, um... theoretical puzzles for the most part. Um, well, I mean, I feel like now is as good as time as any to, like, uh, give my thoughts on it if I'm, if I'm summarizing. So my, sort of, uh, my synoptic take on this is, um, I wish there were more of this game. Like, when I knew that it was only seven or eight hours long, I... Uh, wished... I, I wasn't sure what kind of game I was getting into, but now that I've played it, I wish that there had been a lot more of it, um, because it's very clear that this was designed by someone who um, is a really good puzzle... like, the, a really good puzzle designer. You know what I mean? Like... I say this at the end of every good puzzle game I play, but I think that... I think that there's a big difference between coming up with clever puzzle mechanics and actually being able to build good puzzles with it. Like, I've seen plenty of puzzle games out there that had neat mechanics, but just what they weren't very innovative with what the puzzles actually did, and 
Um, I feel like right out the gate, this game started with puzzles that were already quite challenging. And it occurs to me that the uh, whoever whoever specifically was responsible for designing the puzzles clearly has a very good grasp of the mechanics that they've designed and ways to combine them in interesting ways. Because I, I don't feel like very many of the puzzles in this game had the same flavor, right? In each island, there were five of them. So there were 15 of the sort of heaven puzzles. And then probably another half dozen to a dozen just to get to each uh, island. So I would say there's probably something like on the order of 30 to 40 puzzles in the whole game. And they were all really unique, really challenging. Excellent game. I've got a short list of puzzle games that I recommend to people. And I think this is one of those ones that's going to make it onto that list. It's a little short. I wish it were longer. Genuinely, I wish it were longer. But what there is of this is so good. And I'm sad that it's over. <laughs> I'm so sad it's over. <laughs>